viewers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hobbits, and Jacob Logan Moltz. And today we're joined by Morten, a uh, fellow beer enthusiast here from uh, uh, the Obor area, let's say like that. You're not from Obor. No, I'm not. A little bit south. Yeah. But uh, we're both, uh, we all, the three of us, know each other from uh, uh, Ölbut uh, Konsorte and uh, also from um, from the craft beer uh, kind of society in Obor. Or, uh, and homebrew society too. So yeah, and uh, Morten brought some beers today, and these are the uh, Little Courtney Ales from Novel Bokus. Could you tell us a little bit about the beers? Yeah, uh, these are three of the beers. Um, the first one we're going to taste is the original one uh, that hasn't been aged in any barrels. And then we're going to have the uh, Con cognac, cognac and the uh, bourbon. bourbon barrel. Um, both of these have been uh, aged for 12 months in uh, in barrels in uh, in each barrel. So uh, it's gonna be fun to to see how much uh, it impairs on the on the final beer. Yeah, but, uh, uh, they're all at 12 percent, so it's yeah. some really big beers. Okay, so we got the the beer poured, and as you see, the head kind of evaporated instantly. Yeah. It's like a Coca Cola, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like a soda, basically, yeah. and it's uh, like a hazy. Dark, muddy. Yeah, it always looks a little bit muddy compared yeah. to it, but it's a dark kind of ruby, reddish color, maybe dark amber. A lot of like alcohol legs on the glass. It's on twelve percent. You can like smell it already. Yeah. Should we check out the aroma? Yep. Oh, a lot of dark fruits. Yeah. I it's remember this one fruit. actually. For a yeah, I think I remember it too. Prunes, Prunes, Prunes. Yeah, dates. Yeah. Uh, raisins. raisins, that kind of thing. A little bit of alcohol. Yeah, so. it, it, it has some alcohol burn in the nose as well, but not not more than you'd expect from a uh, beer. No. beer. Maybe some cinnamon kind of nose. Mm, I get uh, some, a lot of caramel too, brown sugar kind of notes. Yeah, it's sugar. a real like it smells syrupy sweet. It smells real yeah. sweet. A little bit of a of a yeah, as I said, like that brown sugary, like a sugary note. Um, it's got almost like a like some kind of spirit. It's like a spirity quality. Yeah. Just like it. it smells pretty nice though. Yeah. It smells like a huge beer. Should we give it a taste? Yeah. Cheers. 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 Thanks for the beers. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Wow, the alcohol is actually hitting really well compared to the aroma. The aroma had that kind of feel and character, but I don't get that at all in the taste. No. What would you call the body more? Um, for a, a beer this size, it would be medium light actually. Yeah, it, it's, it's, not, it's not really heavy. No. Um, and it's not really sweet. It's it's very well balanced, and it I get some alcohol burn now. Yeah, the, uh, the throat, in yeah. the throat uh, just after swallowing it, but. Uh, not a, a super heavy body wine, um, but but very well balanced, I think. Yeah, a lot of uh, kind of yeah, it's actually quite balanced because it isn't like overly sweet. No, nope. you do get a lot of the dark fruit, dates, yeah. and all that stuff, but it's not like you're. It's over driven by like sweet caramelly, sugary nope. notes. But there are some there, but it's yeah. a nice balance. It, 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 it smells nice balance between the the dark fruits and and the alcohol. Uh, it, it keeps it in, in balance. Yeah. I think. Not much bitterness, not much bitterness in it uh, left after what three years. years. Yeah, so this is a two two uh, two thousand eight vintage, and these two are two thousand seven, so it's pretty old. Idea. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's what you'd expect uh, from a three year old beer. Yeah, of course, and it's still pretty solid carbonation on it. Actually, even though it's been sitting for so long, pretty tasty big barley wine. I get an almost um, like a dry kind of taste, like a dry. Chalky kind of sensation too. Yeah, like dried bananas kind of. I don't, I, I don't think dried bananas. No, no, yeah. not, not the taste, but, but the, the, the dry the sensation, yeah. yeah. But I think it's pretty good. What grade would you guys give this on the 100 scale? Let's start out with Morton and you guys. I'd <laughs> give it um, around 80, I think. 80, 85. Uh, was, I, I think it's, uh, it's very nice. It's very well balanced. It's actually... Uh, it's not as uh, oxidized as I would have thought uh, it to be, uh, but it's, uh, it's it's very very nice. Yeah, yeah. it is. I, I was it's, I was thinking in the 80s. So I was thinking 82. Uh, it's a pretty tasty body wine. Um, get a little bit of a diacetyl character, like a light buttery note actually to it, maybe uh, in the flavor. 
They're just lighter. But it's, it's, as Morton says, it's pretty tasty. Um, I was thinking 84, so we're all in the same boat. So we got the cognac version poured down. That's from 2007. Yeah, we agreed that the bourbon probably would be better. So we are savoring We'll that. see. We'll see. I think it is. <laughs> you have not never had it, so you don't know. But it's a lot darker than the the uh, regular version. So yeah. It's got a, absorbed a lot of color from the barrels. It's 12 months in the barrels, right? It yeah. Was in, yeah. And nine months in the fermenter. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, nice dark, dark, dark ruby red color. It's yeah. Actually, quite a lot of combination still when you swirl. Yeah. Around. It's a. Uh, it, it has a lot of floaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of floaties in there. Uh, I, I put the first, uh, and it uh, it still has a lot of debris in and, and mine. And it's <laughs> just it's, uh, <laughs> yours is crazy. Uh, mine's got some too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, let's take all the aroma. Oh yeah, you definitely smell cognac yeah, and yeah. oak. Yeah, but like it's the, but it still has a lot of the uh, yeah same character as that. Yeah. It's just amplified a little. Yeah. yeah. It's, it amplifies kind of the dark fruity character. Yeah. Right? The racing kind of. Yeah, figgy. Yeah, dates. exactly. Okay, you, you kind of feel the burning sensation in the nostrils on yeah. this one too. It, it smells a little, just a tad boozy maybe. Yeah. The caramel. I mean, it, 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 it smells basically just like the uh, little co regular little corky, just real amplified and yeah. with woody characters. Yeah. Like cognac. Yeah. Kind of wrong. Can we give it a taste? Yeah. Cheers. 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 Oh, that's real smooth. Yeah, same wow, light, yeah, a lot light. of ra raisin. Yeah. yeah, a lot of raisin. Same light, medium mouthfeel. As yeah, the mouthfeel for twelve percent beer is really light. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, wow, there's a lot of dark fruits in there. Mm. Uh, yeah. I get a lot, a lot of raisin. No, you know. But I think this has more mouthfeel. It's uh, more creamy on the palate. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's a little more sticky. Yeah. In the, in the uh, yeah. Lips yeah. Like, yeah. It's got like that sugar kind of yeah. glaze. Yeah. 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 Um, Nice, yeah, they've got some brown sugar in those two, the oak and yellow cognac. Um, but a lot of barrel character in this one. The yeah. barrel character is really overpowering, yeah. actually. It suits it, I think. Yeah, it does, it does. Yeah. You feel, you I think too. I like this more than the regular yeah, version. Yeah, I, I felt that the regular version had missed something. Um, and not special, but something. It, it liked something. Right? Anyway, for me, I'm thinking 85, actually. I think yeah. it's pretty tasty. I'm going 87. Um, I have to give it that much higher. <laughs> I'm, I'm on uh, on the high 80s, uh, mid high 80s uh, as well. But uh, giving uh, consideration the the price wise, uh, these are mm. twice as expensive as this, as oh. this one, and uh, these are <clears throat> 0.6 liters, and this is uh, half a champagne bottle at uh, 37 centiliters. Uh, Versus uh, 60 centiliters, so uh, it's almost four times as expensive <laughs> per liter. So uh, yeah, it, it should be uh, it should be better, and, and yeah. it is. Okay. So guys, we're back with the bourbon version of the little Courtney Ale, the last of the different versions of it, also from 2007. And there it is. This one's actually got a head. <laughs> <laughs> the first of them, also 12% aged 12 months in bourbon barrels. Yeah. It's a, again darker color. It's like a real real dark reddish. Kind of ruby red, and again, he skunks. <laughs> and the head is kind of brownish, off white. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's there, so yeah, let's check out the aroma. Again, a lot of raisins. I, I'm actually, I, I don't get too much bourbon actually compared nope. to the, the, the cognac, you've got a little more barrel character. Yeah. Actually. I would almost say that the, uh, the aroma is uh, subdued or uh, less in the bourbon version than in the normal version. It is there, I would but say it's. Oh, you're thinking that this one's got more aroma than the bourbon? Yeah. No, I don't think so. No, I'm going to call you on that one as well. I, I mean, uh, I, I get a lot of the... Uh, I, I get the oaky notes, the bourbon, maybe a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. Uh, and then a lot of dark fruit again. And tons of dark fruit in this. This is like really dark fruity, malty yeah. uh, body wine. And, and this is, in my opinion, the, the most bougiest. Um, yeah, uh, it's definitely... In the nose. Good. Yeah, it's got a solid amount of alcohol in the nose, for sure. Uh, Twelve percent. So uh, I'm not saying it doesn't have, have a aroma, but it's more subdued. Do you yeah. think? Oh, okay. Um, dark fruits, the caramel, kind of sweet sugar notes. What do you guys pick up? 
vanilla. Fix raisin. Raisins, yeah. Sable or black. Uh, uh, dwarf, I think oh, black grapes, yeah. Red it's got grapes. actually, yeah, a little. It's nice glowing beer. Yeah. Give it yeah. a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the booziest one. Yeah. yeah. It's got, uh, you can definitely taste the alcohol in this one. It's got, like, kind of a, kind of a red, kind of fruit, red berry kind yeah. of flavor to it, maybe? Maybe it's a little more oxidized. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's it's not gone off, but it's um, it has a short acidic uh, yeah. feel to it. Just when it touches your, uh, yeah. your tongue, yeah, it's got like not, just not unpleasant, but uh, no, no, just it's just there. It's shortly kind of bitter, yeah, not bitter, but mm. nice. And then yeah, I, I pick up a lot of vanilla in this yes. one. This is the only one that really has the vanilla component. Yeah. Uh, nice vanilla character, the oaky notes. It actually, it, you you do taste the bourbon, but it, it isn't as like straightforward as the no. cognac. There was a lot of cognac in the yeah. cognac version. The bourbon here, it's I think it's more the oaky and vanilla flavors. Yeah, yeah. Grade wise, what do you guys think? I'm thinking uh, I like the cognac version uh, a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have liked uh, actually. I I really enjoy the the slight acidic uh, feel to it, um, but. Um, I'm I'm thinking 83, 84. Yeah, I was exactly right there with you. I, I I prefer the cognac too. And I gave that an 85. I gave gave the uh, regular version an 82. I'm thinking I think I'll give this an 84. Uh, oh, this one <laughs> an 84. It's it's a real tasty uh, barrel aged beer. Um, but it's kind of disappointing compared to the cognac. But it's it's still real good beers. I mean, uh, they're holding up pretty good for being so old. I mean, 2007 and 2008. So. Yeah. I'm learning an 84 as well. And I had this one last weekend, so I immediately wrote uh, Peter saying, "Listen, we gotta do this on uh, <laughs> before I go to the states." Yeah, before Peter goes stateside. So uh, yeah, I think this has oxidized a little. So it's yeah, maybe. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't but know. It, it's it's not that heavy on, uh, not that heavily oxidized either of them. Uh, oh, it's no. uh, quite surprising actually for uh, a beer this big that's been, and that old that's too. been aged, uh, aged for that long. It's uh, yeah. it's very well balanced. So yeah guys that uh, basically does it for this beer review or this horizontal or horizontal vertical tasting. And uh, yeah thanks to Morton for the beers and uh, yeah guys we're as always gonna see you in another beer review. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.